Good morning and welcome to Daily Prayer. Today is Saturday and as we continue our look at the book of Jonah, we find Jonah back on dry land and awaiting instruction. And so as we enter prayer now, let's pause to be still, to breathe slowly, to recenter our scattered senses upon the presence of God. And we begin by reflecting on God's mercy with some words from Psalm 130. Out of the depths I cry to you, Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my cry for mercy. If you, Lord, kept a record of sins, Lord, who could stand? But with you there is forgiveness. So that we can with reverence serve you. I wait for the Lord. My whole being waits. And in his word I put my hope. I wait for the Lord more than watchmen wait for the morning. More than watchmen wait for the morning. Jonah chapter 3, verses 1 to 10. Then the word of the Lord came to Jonah a second time. Go to the great city of Nineveh and proclaim to it the message I give you. Jonah obeyed the word of the Lord and went to Nineveh. Now Nineveh was a very large city. It took three days to go through it. Jonah began by going a day's journey into the city, proclaiming, 40 more days and Nineveh will be overthrown. The Ninevites believed God. A fast was proclaimed, and all of them from the greatest to the least put on sackcloth. When Jonah's warning reached the king of Nineveh, he rose from his throne, took off his royal robes, covered himself with sackcloth and sat down in the dust. This is the proclamation he issued in Nineveh. By the decree of the king and his nobles do not let people or animals, herds or flocks taste anything. Do not let them eat or drink, but let people and animals be covered with sackcloth. Let everyone call urgently on God. Let them give up their evil ways and their violence. Who knows? God may yet relent and with compassion turn from his fierce anger, so that we will not perish. When God saw what they did and how they turned from their evil ways, he relented and did not bring on them the destruction he had threatened. In a world created by a good God, evil and injustice are inherently self-destructive. The Assyrian Empire was renowned for its cruelty, injustice and oppression of other countries. And that impulse towards abuse and exploitation was eating away at the fabric of its society. It was rotten to the core. Violence was endemic and poisoning social relationships. Jonah preached the imminent destruction of the city of Nineveh. Unexpectedly, they turned from their wickedness, and even at the last minute, Nineveh is spared. And while we do not live in Nineveh, there are similar forces in play in wider society today, throughout the world and closer to home. Those same forces may also be at play in our own individual lives. If we do not do right, as it says in Genesis 4, Satan crouches at the door. Martin Luther King, in his famous I Have a Dream speech, in the face of massive racial discrimination, quoted scripture. 
and called on society to let God's justice roll down like waters and righteousness like a mighty stream. But God's justice is tempered with mercy, which extended to the Ninevites and extends to us. So, as we turn to God and away from sin, let's pause and pray for God's justice and mercy to roll down like waters. And may God give us a vision of what that will be like for the world and in our own lives. In the name of Jesus.